Hey guys, Spencer Kaufman here with How To Video Channel. Today I'm going to show you how to put a Husqvarna chain guard back on. So this is the chain cover. A lot of times when you take this off, uh, you try to put it back on and it doesn't line up properly uh, because it's not fitting. It's just not working. So there's a really simple trick to get this back on. However, it could go terribly wrong, causing a lot more problems than you started out with. So what happens generally when you can't get this back on is there's a band here and this is a constriction band that operates by this propeller like thing here fitting into this slot and this is the safety stop for the chainsaw. So when it is forward that's when you've tripped the stop at causing this band to constrict around the clutch that turns the chain. And so a lot of times when people take this off, it's, it's in that forward position. You take this off and then you can't get it back on because this is constricted and it's supposed to not be constricted because you want it loose to go over this chain clutch. So to do that, you could obviously just pull this back, but it's not doing anything because you need to be pulling this back. By pulling it back though, you're actually moving this out. So you could either take a pliers and pull this out and hope that it loosens this band by pulling this out going back like this uh, there's a big spring in here so you don't want to take all this out and shoot that spring out that would be bad so what you do then is take this propeller and line it up with your saw guard there and then pull it back to allow this to move now if you don't do this part properly see there's a pin right here if you don't get this pin out and put inside the hole there where it goes see here there's like a little hole in the plastic and then there's a hole there so you want to make sure that is in both of these okay so there we go if you don't do that take a look and see what will happen so once you line that up then you're gonna pull back on that till it clicks so now it would be engaged which means that bar will be loose then we'll get this off so when you don't do that and you move this you're gonna pull this propeller thing out thereby extending this spring and it's a real pain to get all that compressed back in there. So you can see here, it's still kind of bulged anyway. But so we're gonna put it in here like this, then we're gonna line all this up right in here. So we're gonna put that on, get that all lined up. So now we've got the top part lined up. We're just gonna pull this back. And you heard it click. So we're gonna see now that's all still in place because we have that pin in there and you can see how much bigger this ring is. So we just released all of the constriction and now we can simply put this on just like that. It kind of just snaps right on right there. So see how easy that was to put this back on once you're not constricted. Of course we still have to tighten up the chain and everything but that comes on and off now because you see right here that is over the clutch guard right there it's right over that whole clutch so that makes the job a lot easier don't need to go to the repair store make sure you use that little pin I really hope this video has helped save you a lot of headache I hope you looked up the video before you spent an hour struggling with it and if for some reason you accidentally did this step pop and pop that spring out first, uh, take off these screws right here, compress that spring back in there, real pain, but you can do it. Just go one at a time. It generally helps to put all of this back in place first 
and then compress the spring from this end. So if that has happened to you, uh, comment below if you can't figure it out and I can really try to help you uh, because as you can see, it happened to me and that is why I made this video to hope that it doesn't happen to you guys. So give this video a like. Also hit the subscribe button and the bell icon below to stay tuned for future videos. Thank you.